Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel where you learn everything about analytics, automation, and productivity. In this video, I'm going to show you more about my task, which is a combination of the planner and to do in Microsoft Teams. It allows you to stay more organized and be more productive, and that's the objective. In this video, I will show you how to create a task from a chat, one-on-one -on -one chat within Teams, or from announcement within Teams group, or even from email you receive from your colleague, you know, that you need to turn to a task, and you can and how you can easily manage this within Microsoft Teams. Right. I've also logged in to advanced account. She has sent a message. I Olan kindly put together our half year sales report. Let's make it available on or before COB this Friday. So the deadline is Friday. And yes, I want to acknowledge that right here. This is the text. I can say noted Adele. So noted Adele. But I might over, you know, due to oversight, I might not be able to attend to this if I do not take action on that immediately. And how can you do that? By turning this to a task. So first, how do we even install my um, task application on your Teams? I don't have it installed right now, so I'll go ahead and get it installed first. Uh, is it that you click on this three-dot button to search for my task as an application here, or you click on this apps button here to load the Microsoft Teams app store, where you can easily search for all applications that are there and then pick the one you want to install. So I'm going to look for task. I will search for task by planner and to do. When I put task, it's going to sort them and bring out the applications that actually meet either in names or in terms of functionality what I'm trying to do. So I can see the tax by planner and to do. I'm going to click on it to install. Here, you don't need to add to a particular team. Just click on the add button and that is sufficient. I'm going to click on add. Even though I won't be saying so much around this, I only want to show us how we can see uh, or monitor any items or tasks that you create directly from one-on-one -on -one chat or from Teams announcement or even from your email. I'm going to go here to my chat and go back to that message from Advance. When I hover my mouse on that chat, I'm going to see this three dot button. When I click on that button, you see some list of options. Navigate to more actions and you're going to see create task. So I can create, I can turn this particular chat to a task so that I can follow up and monitor it. It is a task and not announcement, I'm okay to put it in a task or announcement. Announcement is the team that I belong to. Do I want to add this task to that particular team? No. So I'm okay with task. The priority, uh, actually this is important for me. And when is the due date? It is Tuesday, I want to work on it on Thursday because I know Friday is the due date. I don't want to wait till that Friday. You might want to set Friday as due date. So let me just put my as Thursday. Of course, this is the same text and the details. I'm just going to edit this one. What I need here is half year report. So I don't need to have the full message or test from advance. I'm just going to leave it as half year sales report and I click on add task. The task will be created. And now if I go back to my task by planner, which when I click on this three button, I can pin it so that it's easily accessible for me. And when I click on it, awesome, I have it now. It is actually inside my plan tab. So when I go here, I can see half year says report. When I click on it, it's going to pop up. This is it. Do I want to add any items to it? Maybe I'm breaking it down. I have to do one or two things. And right here, I can click on this check to maybe I'm, I'm done. I'm, you know, you can mark it as complete. Okay. So this way I can see what I have to do. If you go to important, those that you flagged important, you're going to find it there as well. You go to your task where you can see the list of all your tasks is also going to be there. Right. So the other option here is let's go to same teams and um, look for a conversation within teams and not one on one chat. Now I'm going to navigate to the announcement teams and right here in general, I can see there's some notification here had advanced has sent me a text, a chat and within that same team, she is calling my attention to do that particular task. Can you send June performance report to me later today? Gracious. So I have to turn this to a task so that I can attend to it in case I'm busy at the moment and I want to be able to have a list of what I've been able to do that day. 
And of course, this can help you to have a better glance. What were the requests you actually attended to? What were the things you do? If you have to summarize your day or give a sort of stand-up meeting to explain what have you done in the course of the week, you can go through them and filter and say, these are the things I've done. Either BAU, either things that you plan or you do not plan. Okay, so I'm going to also click on this three-dot button here to turn this to a task. Go to more actions and then click on create task. Answer. Okay, it's a task, but do I want to create as a task or within announcement? It's actually announcement because that is where she asks me that particular you know um, um, question. But I might put it on that task where I manage my task with task, or you leave it there so that I can know what are the things you are doing within that team's group. Okay, let's leave it here within that um, unit. Okay, so right here, I've clicked on a particular channel, which is general. And now that I click on general, I see I have more options. The progress not started. Uh, medium, yeah, is medium due date is actually today. It's still today. The deadline is assigned to who is assigned to me. I'm going to assign this to myself. So uh, what other things? I have to change this. Uh, June performance report. The title to June performance report. Do I want to post a reply about this task? Nope, I don't need to post. Then I can add the task. Right now, I have added it. If I go back to my task, it's going to be in the list of all my tasks, but I'm also going to find it in that channel, um, Teams channel, where I have added task. Because I had a task to a particular Teams channel, which is this announcement this is where i'm able to see it and create my task under it if i go to my task i can't find it right here if i go to assign to me definitely i'm going to see the june performance there where's the source is general automation project that's the folder that's the team's channel and when i go to that particular team channel automation project in general i will see that task as well which is june performance report and the deadline is today of course i can click on it to also edit and you know update the status in case I want to change the progress to in progress now and I can yeah if I want to add another comment I want to add an attachment to show evidence that maybe I'm done or I have questions or I'm facing one or two issues I can do that here as well All right now that I've changed the status to in progress then it's actually in progress so now you can see this half fill you know, circle which shows that it is in progress. This is the second part. By the way, when you are using the Teams uh, planner within a particular Teams channel, you get more features to make use of. When you click on board, it just shows you everything in a board view. And within this board, you can see all the activities which are in bucket. Is it that you go by bucket or you go by progress? You go by progress, you will see the tags that are new, the ones that are in progress. If there's anyone here that's been done, if I click on this to check it as done, it's going to move to done, meaning it's completed. You can also view by chart. Chart gives you the summary of the tasks you have assigned to one another within that, you know, Teams channel. How many tasks left? How many in progress? How many completed? How many are late? How many according to priority? And you see this chart helps you to manage and um, better understand what you have before your team. You can also check by schedule. Now when you check it, show you calendar and show you what particular task is due for a date, a given date on the calendar. Right? So I'm going to go back to list now. Okay. So because I'm here, I can go back to my task and of course I'm going to see those tasks. Here is advance again. She's sending me another request. You know, she's my retail manager, oftentimes sending a lot of requests. Can you please validate if the investor report is ready? I need to review it by Thursday and will appreciate if you can send the latest COB tomorrow. Uh, yes, I will respond to her. But more importantly, what we often do is to flag it. And when you flag, you just be okay, you can easily go back to what you flagged. But you should, it's not advised to be using both flags and tasks to manage tasks. You might get a bit of, okay, where is the task? So how about putting everything into your, into your task and not just flagging it? Okay, uh, down here you will see three things. We have the email inbox icon, we have the task, we have calendar, and we have this three dot option. In case you cannot see this task, you can click on this three dot and come to navigation options. Definitely you will see it as the list here, but come to navigation options 
and you can then move the tags at least to number one or number number two or three so that it's one of those icons you can easily see right here i have this as three and i'm okay i'm going to click on okay so as you arrange it i have my inbox and my calendar sometimes you see people here but now it's task for me what can i do here is to just click and hold the email from advance and drag this email to this particular task once i drag and drop on that task icon it's going to pop up the task it's urgent request what do i want to name it i'm investors report so i'm going to call it investors report right any deadline due date uh, is tomorrow cob right then do i want to set a reminder for myself when do i want to set a reminder eight o'clock tomorrow fantastic is it completed has it been started priority i think this is high start date no i don't need that if i'm done i can easily click on save and close but if it's a task you want to assign to someone else within your team you can click on assign task and that way you'll be able to assign this task to someone and if you don't want to assign you can click on cancel assignment and it's back to my own task and i click on save and close now that i do that if i go back to my teams and click on planned i'm definitely going to see the investors report just drop now this is the investors report and it's important so this way you see your task and you can better manage them investors report you can work on them you can report and monitor your productivity i believe you have learned something here don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to my youtube channel for more of these productivity tips bye for now